Good morning, everybody. Now, if you haven't turned your video on, could you please turn it on so that I can see you and give you some help with technique with what we're going to do? Wait a minute or so more for anyone else to come as well. All right. How is everybody today? Give me a thumbs up if you're good. Thumbs sideways if it's like, yeah, Sunday morning could be better. And thumbs down if it's not good, if you're not good. Oh, I love to see. Oh, Ash is a bit, bit iffy. Hopefully we can make that better for you, Ash. All right. Now, Taylor and Alex, if you have a camera, it would be awesome if you could turn that on so I can help you with technique. But if not, that's perfectly fine. Oh, totally fine, Taylor. That's a little bit annoying, isn't it? All right. Now, oh, we've got a couple more people joining. For those of you who don't know me, who haven't worked with me before, my name's Abby. I am one of the under 12s coaches. I'm also, um, I, I'm also one of the NBL one players and I have played in the youth league team, but I'm a little bit too old for that now. So today we're going to work on some skills. So we're going to learn some new stuff. It's going to be a little bit challenging, but it's also going to be really tiring. So we're going to have one minute intervals. So we'll have 40 seconds on 20 seconds to have a rest. So make sure you've got a drink bottle near you so that in that 20 seconds, you can grab a quick drink as soon as you need it. And then we'll get straight back into the next thing. Okay, so just let me get my timer ready. Okay, so our first one, we're going to get straight into dribbling for our warm up. So, our first one, when I say go, we're going to be oh, actually, I'll explain first. We're going to be using a freeze dribble today. So, what a freeze dribble is, is basically a hesitation to make the defense go from being here in their stance to here, standing up. If we can get the defense to stand up, they think that maybe we'll shoot it or we're going to pass it and they get lazy, then we can beat them really easily. So a freeze dribble works when we, we pause and then we go again, okay? So our first one is going to be a right hand pound. So pound, freeze, cross, cross. Pound, freeze, cross, cross. Okay, so I'll show you what that looks like at speed. Oh, hang on. I just lost my ball. Let me get a different one. Start again. So we got pound, cross, cross, pound, cross, cross. Okay. Does that make sense to everyone? Give me a thumbs up if you've got that. Okay. Now I'm going to start our timer in three, two, one. Let's go. We've got 40 seconds on. I'm just going to go grab my ball really quickly. So keep going, guys. I'll be back in a second. Awesome, mate. That's 15 seconds down. I mean, what are we doing? Sorry, I just had to... Oh, that's okay. Sorry, I was just collecting my basketball. So we're going pound, cross, cross. Pound with that freeze, cross, cross. Okay. Thank you. That's okay. 10 more seconds to go. Good. And hold it there. All right, that's number one done. Our next one is going to be the exact same, but the opposite side. So this time ball's in our left hand. So it's pound, cross, cross, pound, cross, cross. Now I want you to notice that my feet aren't staying still. I'm stepping my feet, okay? If we have concrete feet, we're not gonna beat anyone. All right, ready, set, let's go. Pound, cross, cross. Good, don't have concrete feet. Imagine there's a defender in front of you. Some work, guys. Keep going. We've got 10 to go. Keep working. 
three, two, and one. Hold it there. All right. Uh, next one. We've got three crossovers, then a freeze. So it's only crossovers for this dribble. So it's cross, 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 freeze. Cross, 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 freeze. Oh. Okay. Now we're starting now. So cross, cross, cross with a freeze. Good. Awesome job, move those feet. And turn your head so that you're making it look like you're gonna go the direction that the ball's just come. Nice, Kira. Good, Evie. That looks awesome. <clears throat> we got five to go. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it there. All right, our next one. We've got a rocker dribble. So a rocker dribble is when we go between our legs, between, back between, and then we're going to add in a freeze. So it's one, two, oh, hang on. I can't dribble today. One, two, freeze. One, two, freeze. Like that. Ready? Up your hop. Let's go. Between, between, and freeze it. Sienna, I'm loving your footwork. That looks awesome. Good, Cody. Let the ball come nice and wide. So I don't want you to stop the ball on the second between. Let that ball come wide so you can really freeze with it. Awesome work, everyone. Keep going. We got 15 to go. Good work, keep going. This one's challenging. Three, two, one. All right, now our next one is going to be the exact same thing, but our other foot is going to be forward. So just then my right foot was forward. So this time it's gonna be my left foot forward. So I'm here, between, 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 between. Okay, I keep losing the ball. All right, ready, let's go. Awesome work, everyone. Really challenge yourself. Zach, you need to move your feet. Your feet are concrete right now. I want to see them moving. Nice, Ava, way to move your feet, awesome. Nice, Cody. I want you to have those eyes up though. Because if you look at the ground, that doesn't look like you're trying to beat your defender. It just looks like you might be going forwards. That's better. So look at where you want the defender to think that you're going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. All right. Our next one we have got, this is going to be really tricky. Three behind the back and then a freeze. So we've got behind, 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 freeze. Oop. Behind, 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 freeze. Okay, so one, two, three, freeze it. One, two, three, freeze it. Let's go. <clears throat> so drag that third one so that you get somewhere with it. Now this one's gonna be hard, so don't worry if you lose the ball, that just means you're getting better. Try and keep those eyes up, Cody. Nice, Alex. I want to see you down in your stance, though. Good, Ash. Nice, Ava. Good, Cody. Work on moving your feet a little bit more. Good, as in Cody Boucher. Awesome work and stop. All right. Now, our next one is behind, between, between with a freeze. So I'm here, the ball's going behind my back, between, between, sorry, my headphone's coming out. Behind the back, between, between with a freeze. Behind, between, between with a freeze. And I can't dribble today. All right, ready, let's go. So behind, between, between.
Nice one. So on that second between, I want you to move with the ball. So let that ball take you somewhere. I don't want you to be in the same spot when you finish. So move with it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. Okay, our next one. We've got cross between behind with a freeze. So I'm here. It's cross between behind, freeze. Cross between behind, freeze. Between behind, freeze. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. So cross between behind with a freeze. Awesome work. So with that behind, make it come wide, really freeze with it. Move with that ball. We've got 10 seconds to go. See how many you can get in. Three, two, one. All right, our next one. We have got cross between, freeze behind. Cross between, freeze behind. Whoa. So the freeze is after the second dribble this time. We've got four, three, two, one. Let's go. So cross between, freeze behind. So make sure you're not holding the ball up here because that'll be a carry. So it's cross between, let the ball come wide, then behind. Cross between, behind. Cross between, behind. So I think the first two dribbles really fast. So bam, bam, then a break, then the next one. So one, two, three. One, two, three. We've got 10 seconds to go. Awesome work, everybody. All right, hold it there. Now grab a quick drink. <clears throat> All right. Now I've got a question for you. Why might I use a, a, a freeze dribble and not just go fast the whole time? Why would I go slow? Yep, Kira? So that maybe the defender slows down and then you can go faster around them? Yeah, absolutely. So we don't want that defender to stay with us the whole time. If we just go one speed and go really fast the whole time, we might be super fast, but our defender might be equally as fast as us. So we might not be able to get past them. So instead we want to go fast, slow, or stop and then go fast again, yeah? That's gonna keep the defender on their toes and it's gonna make it really hard for that defender to stay with us and to be able to defend us, okay? Now, <clears throat> our next bit, we do not need a basketball. So pop your basketball somewhere safe. What you will need is enough space to do some defensive slides. Oh. And if you're outside on um, concrete or something like that, make sure you've got something soft that you can put your hands on so that your hands don't get sore. So if you've got a mat or a towel or something like that. All right. Now, just like we did just then, we're going to have 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. But this time, these moves are all going to be based on agility and strength. So agility basically means our ability to move. So our ability to move quickly and move in all different directions. So I'll explain to you the move that we're going to do. Then we'll do it for 40 seconds. And in the 20 second break that we've got, grab a drink and I'll explain to you the next one that we're going to do. Oh, just grabbing a quick drink myself. All right. So our first one is going to be defensive slides two each way with a floor tap. Now, my pet hate when I see people doing defensive slides 
is when they do this. And they bob up and down. When we do a defensive slide, our feet go from big to bigger and it's called a defensive slide because we are sliding. So I'm here, it's one, two, then we're touching the floor. One, two, touch the floor. Okay, now when I'm touching the floor, I'm not doing this. I'm not bending from my back. I need to be in my stance, touching the floor like this. So I'm bending down nice and low. Okay, so slide, slide, touch, slide, slide, touch. We've got 40 seconds of that. All right. In three, two, one, let's go. So slide, slide, touch. Good, get down lower, Zach. Now, as you're sliding, your hand should not be down in between your legs. Your hand should be out nice and wide. Imagine that, there is a that there's a player that you're defending. If you have your hands down beside you, that's not very scary. Hands out nice and wide, guys. Awesome work. Keep going, don't cross your feet, Cody Miller. Good, don't cross them, don't cross them. Good, that's better. Nice, Alex, stay down nice and low. Good, I wanna see two big slides. We've got three, two, one, and hold it there. All right, our next one. I want you to imagine that there's a line in front of you. So grab a quick drink now, this is your time to get a drink. There's a line in front of you. We're going over and back as quick as we can with both feet, okay? So imagine that the line's this way, it's over and back really fast. So I want you to be on your toes. So up your hop, find that imaginary line or a line in the concrete or whatever. Ready, set, let's go. So over and back. So over, back, over, back, as fast as you can. Awesome work, everybody. That's 10 seconds down. Keep going. So make sure you're not jumping too high up. We're just jumping quickly forwards and back. Staying on your toes. We have 10 seconds to go. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Now our next one. We have got squat jumps. So we're going to bend down like we're sitting in a chair. Then we're going to explode up as high as we can and land back down. What I don't want to see is this. And I don't want to see your knees all the way over your toes. So as you jump, it's land back into that chair. Other thing I don't want to see is your knees coming in. So knees out, up and down like that, okay? And three, two, one, let's go. See how high you can jump. So land softly and explode up. Awesome work, everyone. So land like a ninja. You don't want anyone to hear you. We're halfway. Fifteen seconds to go. Keep going. Jump up as high as you can. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. All right. Our next one, we're going to give our legs a little rest. We are going to be down in a plank. So my hand, I'm going to just grab my phone. So it doesn't start beeping. Our hand's going to be underneath our shoulders like this. We are in a straight line like this. And then we're going to tap our shoulders. So what I don't want to see is you doing this and tilting your body. You should be in a straight line. Try and stay still as you can. And it's tap. Tap, okay, the whole time. So everyone get into that plank position. Ready, oh, hang on, ready, set, let's go. Now I'm just gonna help you with your technique. If that is too hard, you can go down onto your knees, but try really hard to do it on your toes. Now slow taps is where we will get the most out of this. So if you go super fast, it's not going to be very good for you. You're not going to get much out of it. So think slow and steady. Keep breathing. 
Zach, put your bum down to the floor a bit more. That's better. We've got 10 seconds, everyone. Keep holding it. You can do it. Stick with it, Ash. Really good, Cody. Sienna, I love that you've got a friend there. That's very funny. <laughs> All right. And stop. Awesome work, everybody. That was really good. Okay, our next one. We have got jump lunges. So, oh, let me change my camera angle a little bit. So grab a quick drink now. We've got jump lunges. So it's switching which leg is in front and jumping and switching our arms as we go. What I do not want to see is those knees coming in like this. So if you need to slow it down and check that your knees are in line, I want you to do that, okay? So it's all about good technique. We're starting in three, two, one, let's go. Just 40 seconds. Jump up on the spot and into the next leg. So we're switching feet. Awesome work. You don't have to touch the ground, Ash. So we want our knees to get low, but we're not. We've got 15 seconds. 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work, all right. Our next one, we have got mountain climbers. So we're going to be down in our plank again. Hands underneath shoulders in our plank. And we are going to be running on the floor. So bring our knees up nice and high. Okay. In three, two, one, let's go. Mountain climbers. Try and keep your back as straight as you can. Awesome work. Keep going, guys. Keep working. So Zach, put your hands on the floor, not your elbows. Yep, that's better. Good. Much better. Now I want you to imagine that you're sprinting. So drive those knees up really high towards your shoulders and see how fast you can get those legs to move for the last five, four, three, keep going, two and one. Awesome work. All right, guys, we have got one more to go. Our last one is my personal favorite. You might hate me for it though. We've got closeouts. So we're imagining that there's a defender in front of us. We are going to take, pardon me, two big steps. So one, two, then we're gonna take short choppy steps and swing our arms up towards our defender. So it's here. Then we're gonna run backwards and do it again. So one, two, here. Jog it back and go again. Now, when we close out, what I don't wanna see is our hands here. As we close out, our hands need to be high. Our hands are high because we want to scare this defender and not let them shoot it, okay? So your hands need to be up in your defender's face. Okay, so up your hop. We are going in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. 40 seconds of work and then we are done. See how, how deep you can dig. So running backwards, getting down in that stance, butt down to the floor. Awesome work, everyone. We're already halfway. Keep going. Ten seconds to go. See if you can get three more done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Whew, grab a drink. All right, who's feeling a bit puffed after that? Awesome, that's what I like to see. 
Now, it doesn't take long to get in a good workout. That was only 23 minutes of work for us. Um, I think a lot of us are puffing. I know you can hear me guys puffing. Me puffing, rather. Okay, we're going to do a couple of quick stretches before we finish. So, our first one. We're going to have our back knee on the floor. Oh, on the floor. Arms on your hips. I want you to tilt your pelvis forward. So, tilt it this way and then lean forward. So, you should feel a stretch through this leg here. I don't want to see anyone doing this because you're not going to get a stretch there. So, tilt and lean slightly. If you're not getting enough of a stretch, whichever leg is at the back, lean that one over to the other side. So, that hand rather. So, if you're not getting enough of a stretch, tilt from the side. Sorry, my camera isn't in the best spot. Hold that for another second or so. All right, let's switch legs. The other leg back, tilt that pelvis forward or your hips forward and lean into it. If you don't feel enough of a stretch, lean over, but stay up nice and tall. So think, try and make yourself as tall as possible right now. All right, awesome job. Now, next one, we're gonna lie down. We're bringing one knee over to the other hip and you should feel a stretch through your glutes or through your bum on the leg that's over the front. If this is too hard for you, you can bend the other knee and pull your leg up like this, okay? So whichever one you prefer. Good work. So hold your hand with that knee. Hold that knee with your hand rather. Awesome work, everyone. Hold it a little bit longer. All right, and switch sides, other side. The sunshine is beautiful today. I'm glad I decided to come outside. Hold it for five more seconds. All right, our next one. We are going to have, we're going to lean onto our tummies, bring one leg up, then we're going to tilt it inwards and have our back leg straight. So with my front leg, I've made a bit of a triangle. We're going to lean down. So your back leg should be straight. So right now this back leg is straight. If that is too much of a stretch for you, you can bend it and make your legs like a little square here. But I feel like because we're all pretty young, we should be able to get our legs straight. So see if you can get your head down to the floor. That's my challenge for you. Awesome work. Now, this is a bit uncomfortable, so I want you to take some nice deep breaths and really sink into the stretch. So take four really deep breaths for me. So in through your nose and out through your mouth. Awesome work, keep going. Really relax into it. Awesome, let's switch over to the other side. So other leg comes forwards. And same thing, I want you to relax into this stretch. Yep, so front leg is bent, back leg is straight. Awesome work. So try and relax your head down to the ground if you can. This is our last stretch. All right, two more deep breaths. Okay, and bring it in everybody. Absolutely awesome job today, everyone. That wasn't an easy workout. So really good job. Way to get through it and way to work really hard. Now, I want you guys to think about why you're coming to these sessions. So have a think, is it because you want to get better? Is it because you're bored? Whatever it might be, but I've got a feeling that it might be because you want to get better and you want to stay nice and fit for basketball. 
So if you're coming to Cassie's one on Wednesday or to my session on Sunday or to any of the other sessions throughout the week, what I want you to focus on is when you come to these sessions, giving it your all. Because if you're gonna come and take the easy option and go a bit slower, there's not any point, yeah? So really dig deep and give it your all. Really get the most out of these sessions while we've got them, all right? Awesome work. I'll leave you to it and have a lovely Father's Day. Say happy Father's Day to your dads or your, your parents from me. Thanks, Thank you. That's okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.